Hey there, today we'll be painting this Anglo Zulu War British Sergeant from Empress Miniatures. First thing you want to do is get yourself a sharp knife and carefully trim the casting line away from the model. Always make sure you cut away from yourself. Grab some super glue and stick them to a base if you feel like it. Dab some glue atop the base and sprinkle some sand on top. Finish off by applying more glue and dipping him in salt to fill any gaps. I've given the whole model a coat of Chaos Black and then Mephiston Red, both from Citadel spray cans. First thing you want to do is paint his base with Citadel Zandri Dust. Don't worry too much about getting any on his feet at this stage. When that is dry, follow up by taking some of Citadel's Morgas Bone and wiping most of the paint off on a tissue. Lightly dry brush this across the top of the base to bring out the raised detail. Use two coats of Citadel's Contrast Black Templar to paint his boots and hat. I like this paint because it has great coverage, but is very liquid, perfect for getting into all the nooks and crannies. When that is dry, paint his trousers with Citadel's Thunderhawk Blue. Base coat his hands and face with Citadel's Cadian flesh tone, making sure that you remember his ears. Next up, use Reaper's Shadowed Steel to paint his gun, the hilt of his sword, and the buttons on his coat. Then take Citadel's Dryad Bark and use this to paint the leather on the model which is his holster, his canteen and the scabbard on his sword. While that is drying, use Reaper's Harvest Brown to paint his hair and beard. Take Linen White by Reaper and base coat his straps and the trim on his coat. You'll almost certainly need two thin coats of this to go over the red properly. Finally for the base coat stage, paint his rank insignia, his belt buckle and the detail on his hat with Citadel's Retributor armour. Take some Reichlin Flesh Shade Wash from Citadel and dilute it 50-50 with Laumian Medium. This is to provide a softer contrast than if we just use the wash neat. Wash this over his face and hands. Make sure each wash at this stage dries fully before moving on to the next so they don't run together. Use Citadel's Talisar Blue diluted 50-50 with Laumian Medium to shade his trousers. Do a couple of coats of this to really build up the rich blue colour. Use Nuln Oil from Citadel, undiluted this time, and wash the hilt of his sword and his revolver. Finally wash his coat, straps and the gold areas with a 50-50 mix of Citadel's Agrax Earth Shade mixed with Lamian Medium.
Layer up his jacket with Mephiston Red, making sure that we leave the Agrax Earthshade wash in the recesses and the folds in his clothing. Highlight this with a mix of Mephiston Red and Evil Sun Scarlet. and finish up with Evil Sun Scarlet on its own. Relayer his straps and other white areas with Reaper's Linen White, making sure that the shadows where the straps cross over are left dark. Relayer his skin with Cadian Flesh Tone, leaving the wash in between his fingers and in the recessed details on his face. Layer up his leather with dryer bark. Follow that with an edge highlight of catch and flesh. Finish off by painting the edge of the base with XV88. I like to dilute this with MIG airbrush thinners to make the application smooth, but you will need to do two or three coats if you do this. Finally, I've hit him with a coat of satin varnish and glued a little bit of grass to his base. And with that, we can call him done. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe, and you can find me on Instagram at Jimmy Black Miniatures. I'll see you next time.